Okay, so now we will look into it, insert, update, and delete, right? So you have to know how the CTE works. So I'm going here again with this. I've got this build details. I'll say with CT as select, right? I want to select only these four tables, one, two, three, four, five. And then I look into the final balance. So I select these four columns, right? But I think many people were not clear about what happened yesterday. So I pick up bill ID, bill date, bill name. Is it correct? Comma ledger. And I pick up say the final balance, right? Final balance from. I have to mention the table name, the stage underscore bill underscore details. So then with CT1 is a common table expression. So this actually helps me reuse the queries during the course of the execution. So I can do it across multiple. So I say select start from CTE. So I go here and I click here and then I get all this. Now I want to insert the data. I want to create a table from it. So I say select start into stage underscore bill underscore details underscore condora right select star into is the point clear team from cte my apologies i'll write type it again select sorry guys select star into stage underscore bill underscore details underscore condora from CTE. Okay. All right. Get out of it. Select star stage underscore bill. Okay. So I go here. So this is one portion. Now what you guys do is say select star from stage underscore bill underscore details underscore condora if i pick this up i should be able to get the data is the point clear so you now you replicate this at, at your end this is what the first slide is so i have selected the required columns i have inserted it so i i did this yesterday this is your typical insert syntax, which we have copied from the Microsoft site. So we looked into with the CTE, how do you do the insert into this particular table? And then we have also looked at the values. You can also put in the default, this thing. Now, suppose, now we will look into how do you specify the database name and the owner name, right? So I can also say select star from. Now my database name is what exactly? Inventory underscore analysis underscore because I can access database from multiple places. So inventory underscore analysis one dot dbo dot stage underscore bill underscore details underscore condora. Now see this. So what the way is that this is the owner name, which is the DBO, which is the default. This is my database name and this is my table name. Is everyone clear on it? Any questions up to now? Okay, because yesterday's portion was not clear. Similarly with CT, I can do a number of other things. So what I can do here is I can make it a bit more complex, right? Then I have to look into insert, update, delete. So this is very simple what we are keeping it. I need to add the default values onto it, right? So I say, just simply copy the syntax here. Create table stage underscore bill underscore details. And find what I'll do here is this one. Simply right click on it and say refresh. Now I go here. Now pick up the schema here. Right? Here, here. Yeah. 
Now what he says is, I want to add a default value to this. So if I need to add a default value here, so what he has done is I'll put up this thing. So what I do here is I'll say drop table stage underscore bill underscore details. Right. And this is where cash. So it should not be. So I say default here, but it should ideally be date. Right. 0, 01, 0, 01, 2000. So if I don't have anything specified, then it will come out automatically like this. Is it clear? Now I append this query. So I copy this query and append it. So now to replicate everything at your end from your end. So control V. I remove this build date. So I put in this thing and I say insert into Then I say select star from CTE. Is it clear? Now let's see what happens. So it does not match the table definition. So now insert into and the default value is here. So insert into bill ID. Comma bill name. Comma ledger comma final balance right now let's do this sorry dear final balance right everyone clear so i insert it now let's see what happens here and what happens here select star from state underscore bill underscore details controller. So I'm giving you very easy ones. But what is the default value which has been put up? What was specified in the table definition? Is that clear? See, I'm making it like this. So you'll have to practice it. I'll do this once again after 45 minutes or one hour again with you. Then I'll look into update. Okay, so this is the complete definition and here, and if there's any explanation below, you can see it from down below here. So we will look into the update table, then update object definition. So just, just simply copy it here. I will look into slightly more complex case. And I'll give you a standard template here. Similarly, delete. Then truncate. I'll explain it differently between delete and truncate. So this you should be able to do it in a jiffy. Everything in a jiffy. But just practice it from here. Insert, update, delete, merge. All of them together. Is everyone clear on it? Yes or no? Then I look into indexes. Okay, I need to stop this recording because there are other people who would be wanting to see it. I think there are 10, 12. So I'll stop it, I'll upload it, and then the team can see it right now. Okay, but the resources have to practice it. So just practice it the way and use the data warehouse for it. So I will guide you, but remaining things you'll have to do. Anything else? Team, is there anything else? Okay, fine. Thank you. I'll just do that.